Okay, looks like we are ready with Katana Zero. Let's give it up to Kainalo. Woo! Hey! What up, gamers? What's popping, poppers? Kainalo. Uh, yes, it's me. I'm gonna do some Katana Zero all stages. This is gonna be a really tired speedrun slash commentary. Apparently, I need to go arrest him. It's so good he has time to set up his game. I'll try to have to do that. Uh, all stages is basically just finish the game without the secret boss. And yeah, I guess that's about it. You will see how the game rolls. I'll try to explain it. Uh, timing starts on the first deflect here. Uh, speed remote skips all cutscenes and is lore related stuff, so you might not understand what's going on, but I'll try to un like sp explain stuff. But yeah, three, two, one, go. So this is like the first level. This is basically a tutorial of our movement and uh, such. The like uh, rooms here aren't too hard. Like the last room can be a bit trolly, but otherwise they should be fine. But then again, I didn't sleep well. But yeah, the basic uh, idea of the game is you have to like kill uh, all enemies in every room to progress. There is one level where you can uh, leave some enemies alive if they didn't spot you yet. That's like two levels from now. Uh, what else? What else? I don't know, ba like basic movement is just like uh, timing perfect rolls. You can spam roll, but that's like, of course, slower than doing perfect rolls. And that was the first stage, and I didn't die. That's pretty dope. Now we're in a hotel. This is like, we got an assignment that we have to murder this one guy in this hotel. Also, the music is really good in this game. So we're just gonna clear all the rooms here, kill the enemies, do some nice strats. Also, I've been like uh, pretty in inactive for a month, so my strats aren't like the newest, hottest thing in the market. But they're still like fine. Top 5 stuff, if I don't die. So here we get like our first throwable items, which is like really useful, it's just like Basically, you pick up stuff, but then you can throw this stuff. And uh, everything is one hit kill. You kill enemies in one hit, enemies kill you in one hit. And also, whenever you see me, like, uh, you see me, like, lagging a bit, like in the start of a room, like a teleport or something, it's because I reset the level. Uh, some rooms I want to reset in the start because the reset spawn is further in than the first spawn. And in some rooms like this, I want to get like a proper cycle. I'll try to do a ridiculous strat here because why not? Okay, I didn't get it. Uh, that's like a one or two frame jump into like two more, some five frame jumps. It's dumb, but it's cool if I pull it off. That's the normal hard strat. Like uh, it says that I died there because I like I got caught which is the same as dying on that level but I like hit the door trigger just as I was, like just as I was dying so it counts as a death but I didn't die kind of so in this level we go kill a DJ because he plays bad music I guess or something like our assignments are given by this uh, oh man this psychiatrist psychiatrist Psychiatrist? Psychiatrist? Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> oh, I need oh, oops. And spoiler alert: he's the like secret boss of the game if you make him angry enough. But I won't do the secret boss because I don't know. I'll just do this. Good reason. Nice little reverse deflect there. Really hard. Like deflecting bullets is kind of easy when you do it like normally like when it's coming from towards you like towards you but if you're like running away from the bullet then your hitbox of the swings are is like way smaller so it's really hard to time like reverse deflects 
But yeah, that was that level. Now we're off to prison. Prison is the only like uh, sneak level kind of. You can uh, get through this uh, stage without killing an enemy. But that's slower, so we'll go through this level by like we'll kill the enemies that will be in our path and see us, and all the other guys that are like, well, don't see us and are not in our way, we'll leave those guys alive. Alive. So there's a guy here that we need to go assassinate, but then he's already dead, and we're like, oh man, and it's a setup, and the cops are here, and we need to run away from the coppers, I guess. Still pretty basic, just like uh, timing rolls, rolls and trying to use as many uh, throwables as possible. Because uh, when you can use uh, throw throwables while you're rolling, so you don't lose any time like uh, speed. Compared to like when you do normal slashes, you of course stop rolling for is it eight frames and you lose a little bit of time there. This the next uh, stage is studio. It's like split up in three different uh, sub-levels. The order is like preference, but I like to go for Doom first because it has the biggest time losses because it's an other scro scroller. So hope I don't die here or here. Nice, I got a lucky deflect there, oops. Jump to the cart, don't die. Nice. And then the second part, we do Flying Goose, which is this. You just jump and hit upwards. It's a dumb name, but... I named it. And most of the things I named are really dumb in this game. Apparently, they want to rename all of my strats because they think they're, like, really badly named. But I disagree. <laughs> like, the one uh, skip in the club level that I failed is called Bababooey 2.0, and the easier one is Bababooey 1.0, and the name makes no sense. And people are really angry about it. Like, well, not angry, but, like, there's a later stage where, like, uh, NPC says Bababooey, so everyone thinks that Bababooey skip is in that level, and... I don't know. It's a nice name. Uh, so, that was Doom, here is like, space level, like, this is of course like a movie studio, so the scenery is about like, uh, the Doom level was like some minecart thing, and this is like space with aliens and spooky booby stuff in the background. And now we just uh, go all the way back to the elevator again, because we got a keycard. We need the keycard from each stage, so we can uh, open this bigger door to a boss fight. And now we go to Quiet Hills, not to be confused with Silent Hill. So if I get it here, nice. Um, this is gonna be a hard strat, I hope I don't fail it. I need to do like a nice... oh, never mind, I failed it. I don't know the timing when you fail, so I might die like a million times now. Okay. Like, I, <laughs> I haven't practiced the backup strats because, like, the uh, cycles are different now from the first spawn. Oh, the game is, like, giving me an arrow to go upstairs. What? No worries. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Big gamer moment there. Uh, big time loss. Also, there's Pyramid Head. Known from the series Quiet Hills. As you can see on the board there. Now we go back to the lobby and we go to the boss fight. There's like still one room before the boss fight here. Which has like a few strats that are faster than what I do, but I do what I do because I haven't learned anything new yet. In a while, I mean. What? Also, smokes are bugged in this game. Like, uh, smokes are supposed to make, like, enemies not see you, but sometimes the smokes actually, like, uh, cancel their animation, so they do super fast attacks. And that's what happened there. Like, he... That enemy shouldn't have shot me there. So I don't count this count it as my dead death. Also here there's a nice cheese strat that you can 
get there's like a 10 frame window I think for the hits and I got it like pretty fast I guess that's still fine now we're off to the next stage uh, which is mansion it's split up in two parts one is this and the second one is like this mo motorcycle section so now we invade this mansion of this uh, Russian guy called V because like something in the lore the law uh, like the lore is really good I just can't remember it it's tired like uh, if you like uh, games with good stories you really like I recommend this game also there is like a free DLC coming out hopefully this winter like story based DLC and the dev is really cool like uh, He's in our speedrun discord and like he gives inputs and stuff and we give like pointers to him on like uh, patches and what we would like on the speedrun mode. Nice. That's a really hard to like throw there because you have to throw downwards while rolling and it's really easy to hit like the wall next to it. Let's... there's uh Okay, get it. Uh, there's a one frame window there uh, where if you press uh, skip replay at the exact frame, it skips that small replay and it saves like 3 seconds. But it's really hard as it's one frame, but it's not too bad if you miss it. Like, it's like I think it's 5 seconds, it could be 3 seconds. Also, this is a boss fight, this is Kissy Face. I didn't die, that's good. He just like lobs his axe around and stuff and you have to like stop him and here we are on the motorcycle level uh, this is a really annoying level because the enemies with guns on this level shoot at random times and you don't know when they're gonna shoot so deflecting the bullets is really annoying because you want to get close to kill them but then they can like shoot you just as you're nearing them and it makes it so that you have no time to deflect the bullet and you die also, music again is really good. Also, whenever I see like a save icon on the bottom right, I want to reset because it skips like the transition and it saves like a few seconds on each like uh, transition. Okay, not when, not always when I see the save icon, but when I see the save icon and the background is changing. So a few more of these. That was a really <laughs> lucky deflect. <laughs> It was actually a misclick, but sure. Okay, and now we got through. Now we have this uh, helicopter fight against the Russian guy again, because now he's in a helicopter. And this has a hard strat where you have to deflect these machine gun bullets, which I usually fail at because I'm really bad at this game. Get this unit to get three hits, and then the fight ends. Also, this phase, the red icons you see on the road are RNG where they drop so with bad RNG I can like just get messed it up and die but I did it first try that was pretty good if you die there you lose like 30 seconds so it's really important to die there now we are to Chinatown uh, some assassination thingy again with good music Uh, nothing crazy here, like here it starts picking up a little bit because of the like, there's more shield guys and the levels are a bit more like bigger and complex and the strats are a little bit harder now. Like this room, I failed it, I'll just try it again, okay. Nice, I got it. Yeah, I need to concentrate a little bit on some of these rooms just because, like, uh, it's really easy to mess up on those. Because that was really slow. Oh, please. Nice. Then the final screen of this room, which is really bugged, like, uh, I don't want to use... Well, I need to use the smoke here. But after I use the smoke, I like start teleporting around and it's, I don't know, the dev doesn't know what's wrong with it and he's like, we keep bugging him about it and he's like, I don't know what's going on, it's probably the engine. Sh 
sure. Now we are on the, like, this is the only level with a different character. Now we don't have throwables, but we have this uh, dragon dash kind of thingy. Where we can, like, dash to a point and, like, heal everyone who's in between. So this is kind of hard because I'm trying to like uh, deflect two bullets backwards. Okay, I got it. As I said before, like uh, deflecting backwards is really hard. What? And doing it twice is like twice as hard. Okay, he didn't shoot twice. That was lucky. Okay, sure. That was... <laughs> Clean. Uh, final room. We just bait all the enemies to come down because it's easier to like kill them at once, and it's also faster. Wait. Okay, that was a bug. And that's that. Now we see never see that character again until the DLC maybe hopefully. Uh, now we're off to the third of the, like second to last slash third to last level called Slaughterhouse. If you play this casually, you will get this uh, like sniper that's shooting you and, you and you have to like wait in those rooms and talk to the guy in the TV a lot. But there's a dev intended skip that you can like skip the sniper and all the waiting and the, like one gameplay part later, which is really nice. Oh, that was really dumb. Let's do it slowly. Like, there's a lot of, like, small, well, not a lot, but, like, some nice dev intended skips in the game. Like, he, he thought about speedrunning a lot, like, when he made this. And the normal game is actually, like, uh, the enemies are random, like, where they spawn. But in the speedrun mode, there's an option for uh, seated spawns, so they always, like, uh, spawn at the same spot and walk the same direction. Except for the first, like, uh, when you enter the room, because you have the two-second walking animation, so the cycle is, like, two seconds off from resetting. Why did I go for that? Oh. Okay, then the last room here. Hope I don't mess this one up as I did on the previous ones. Like here, when you play this casually, you would, well, there. The door is closed and you get this like three minute long fighting section. But if you did the trick in the uh, second room and then you, if you roll past the cameras that are in the roof, like you can see one camera here on the roof. If you roll past them, then it was, doesn't see you and you can like skip all of these. And now we're off to the second to last level. Or last, it's split in two parts. This is really fast paced, I don't really know what to say here, because I need to concentrate on a, like, a few of the rooms. Because the strats are really tight, because the rooms are small, small, so... Also best music of the game. But we can't hear the best part of the song, because I most likely will go too fast for us to listen to it. Hopefully. Also, if you're thinking why I died so many times, it's because... I want Kotti to have time to set up his game. It's a good, ex good ex excuse. This. Also here, like, uh, whenever you see the save icon pop up on the bottom right, if you reset, it opens the elevator door like 0.3 seconds faster. Like so. So. I'll be doing that all the time in the elevators. That's why it looks like lagging or like splicing or something. Then the two final rooms, which have kind of hard strats. Okay, got the first one. Then the final room has like, uh, I don't know the, I, I know the fastest strats, but I am not gonna do them. I'm just gonna do this old slowish strat for the start. Nice. Okay, so we got through bunker one. This is Bunker 2. It's basically the same level, but it's like uh, split in two parts, so it's 
kind of a different stage, but then again it's the same stage. Okay, nice, I got through that. Uh, bunker 2-1, uh, this room is like a really heavy like tilt point, because if you die there you just get really mad at yourself and you can like lose 15 minutes in that room. That was really good. Now to the final room before the boss fight. Which used to be the most annoying room of the game before the seated spawns. Because there was like 10 different ways of doing this room. And all of them were really bad. Oh, I got it through, nice. So now we're up to the final boss. The final boss is in two phases. The first one is uh, this. You hit once and then you... There are a few enemies spawn, then you hit again. A few more enemies spawn. It's always the same. Final hit. He makes his mines. You roll fast, you go down. And now we're off to the second phase. Which is a bit different, but there's like uh, there's a good fast kill here. That I never fail. Okay, good. I failed that knife throw and I lost the world record like a month ago. Like my current PB was a world record, but it could have been 20 seconds faster, but I choked on the final input of the game. <laughs> so that's it. Also the run is done. Oh, two minutes, that was really good. That's a world record by like 15 minutes. It's pretty nice. Actually, no, like it's 14. But yeah, that was really bad. I don't know what to say. <laughs> bye. Say bye. <laughs> I don't know. I want to go to sleep, but then again, I want to watch Koti here. I think I can talk a bit more while he sets up. <laughs> no, he's a big man. He's uh, ready for his run. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you want to speedrun this, we have a Discord. The dev is there. I ma I've made like guides for this a month ago, which have like strats that you can get like top five with, I think, still. You should check those out. Just hang out, come ask. There's like a million runners now, so there's a lot of people that can help. But yeah, man, that was a run. Please don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Stay for Hitman.